Uh, I thought it was a, a fun game to play, you know, when you get to come in an environment like this and play against uh, a ranked opponent and kind of see where you're at. Um, I know I enjoy coaching it, so I like to think our players enjoyed uh, playing in it. Thought that there were some opportunities that we missed and we did not take advantage of. Thought we could have taken the lead in multiple situations and we just didn't. Um, and so, you know, we'll uh, uh, we'll dust ourselves off and try again on Sunday versus the number one team in the nation. Yeah, Coach, I mean, defensively, y'all hold them to under 33% shooting. I mean, outside of Angel, they shoot like 15%. What did, what did y'all do well on that? Yeah, I don't know if you know much about our program, but we hold everybody below their their average. We That's our defensive system. So uh, I'd be shocked if we don't hold someone below the average. There's only one team uh, in the 26 games that we've played that has scored their average. And it took them overtime to do it. So uh, that's our defensive system, and we take pride in it. Uh, you're obviously locked in a battle for a top four tournament mm -hmm. seed. Just, you know, this is, this is a tough loss. You go to South Carolina, obviously, it's a tough game, but you got Alabama at the end. Just talk about your team and trying to get that and the importance of trying to, to get one with that double bye. Um. You know, I don't know. I'm not like these – like, I'm not a big we-need-to-get-a-double-by type coach. Uh, honestly, if I'm really being transparent, like, I could care less. Um, you know, we got South Carolina next and then Missouri and then Alabama. As far as we cons we're concerned, if these next three games, we're going to try to win all three. And uh, if that happens to give us a double-by, great. If it doesn't, I'm fine with it. Um, because we want to play. So, um, however that works, you know, I'm not one of those. Now, the top four, that's – so it's like not the double bye for me. It's more so of like wanting to have back-to-back -back top four seasons where we were top four. We were top four last year, and that would be kind of cool for us to do it again. Uh, but all season we've been breaking records, and, um, you know, for us – we just want to take it one game at a time and kind of see where we are. You know, we feel like we're in the tournament, uh, NCAA tournament, but we don't want to be a one and out. That was last year, so we want to advance. So my perspective and our team's perspective is, you know, these next three games, if we could just figure out how to get, you know, 1% better. Here's the advantage we have. We we just played the number five, and then, and then we're getting ready to play the number one. And so – and and we we fouled twice at the end of this game, so really the score should be 60 to 65. Like we had to foul, right? So if they're number five, in my mind we're like round number 10 to 15 in the nation. That's how I look at it. If that if they're number five and we came here and played in front of 9,000 people, uh, we're pretty good too. So our journey is different. We're just trying to get one percent better every game so that we're not one and out. Uh, when we go to the NCAA tournament. Coach, was the physical nature of the game typical of a game for y'all? Yeah. And, and did it hurt y'all because you got the short end of the foul stick, it looked like? Oh, I'm glad you said that <laughs> and not me because I got two kids, so I'm trying to save for the college, right? Uh, but I'm glad you made that point. He said, for those that didn't hear, there was a disparity with the foul count. Uh, but uh, it's a physical game. It's the SEC. It's a big girl game. Uh, usually when you're on the road, you don't get the benefit of the doubt. Um, I know officials say that's never the case, but come on. Uh, and they'll go to the grave saying that. But um, I don't know. We still had opportunities to take full advantage, and we didn't. Um, and so the physicality of the game is – is just a part of it, you know, and that's who, that's what LSU does, and I respect it. Thank y'all. Oh, let them have it. <laughs> I 
I know we was we was we y'all were taking us out one by one, huh? Um, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. They'll be fine. Yeah, it's three game week. Y'all know how that is. Thank y'all. Thank you.